Well, hey guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, we got a, a Bible verse for you here that's going to be helpful, I believe. Uh, set your day on a good course and hopefully beyond that as well. Um, we've been going through on Wednesdays, taking a look mostly at the book of Proverbs, but the, the section of the Bible that uh, is called Wisdom Literature. Proverbs is just pretty much a list of Proverbs. Uh, there's more to it than that, for sure. But for the most part, it's just these short sayings full of wisdom that give you a general truth that you can that will help you through life. And so we're, we're looking at that. That's what the book of Proverbs is all about. And uh, that's really what this is all about. This verse here um, kind of lays things out in a, uh, a different way. So we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 4. Verse 25 says, look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. And guys, th this is basically almost a summary uh, of what Proverbs is trying to accomplish. Solomon wrote it as a, a letter to his son, uh, a way to give wisdom to his kids and so he basically says it straight you know look straight ahead fix your eyes on what lies before you so you get a goal in mind and of course you know me the best goal i can tell you to focus on is of course jesus himself so focus your eyes straight on him you don't want to get distracted from that that's what's meaning by it says look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you so we, we look at Jesus, we, we get focused on him, and we don't look away to the left, to the right, any which way. We don't allow people, we don't allow problems, we don't allow circumstances to distract us from him. We are focused, laser, uh, lasering in on uh, Jesus himself. And uh, it says, mark out a straight path for your feet and stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. Guys, that's what this is all about. It, once we've focused on them, we've got to figure out the best way to get to them. And, and the best way, spiritually speaking, is a straight line. We don't need to worry about trains. It's not like going over the mountains in real life or something like that where we got to walk around a tree or around a hill or, or whatever. Spiritually speaking, if we focus on God, we can go straight to Him. And so... If we are getting off that path, it's because we've allowed ourselves to get distracted. And he's telling him here, don't. He said, mark out a straight path and stay on the safe path because that is absolutely the safest path possible is going straight to God. And so don't get sidetracked, which that's life. Life is full of distractions, I swear, especially since um, our culture, ever since the advent of television and now smartphones, we have like the attention span of goldfish. Actually, I've read that goldfish actually have longer attention spans than humans do right now um, because of smartphones. Uh, but regardless, the point is that we don't need to get distracted. We can focus on Jesus. We have the capability. We have the Holy Spirit inside us as Christians drawing us straight to him. The question is, are we going to follow that? Or are we going to allow ourselves to get distracted by people? That's, that's a big deal, you know, especially if it comes to romantic relationships or the people we're closest to. We've got to be really careful about people we allow to heavily influence our lives. We can't pick our family. You know, we're born into it. That's the circumstances we have as kids. But... After that point, you know, we get to pick our friends, we get to pick our spouse, we get to pick so many things about it. And so we don't need to let people distract us from God. We need to find somebody who's going to go with us on the journey straight to God and not serve as a distraction instead. So pick that path. Don't allow people, don't allow circumstances, don't allow problems, whatever it is, don't allow that. To distract you from going straight to God and so do that and then it says keep your feet from following evil guys it, evil can be a subtle thing or it can be something obvious 
And depending on where you are at, on at de- that day or in life in general, sometimes the big evil temptations are actually a real temptation for you. Sometimes it's just those small, subtle things. But either way, I just want to encourage you, stay on the path. Go straight to Jesus. Um, There's no better road for you, I promise. That's all I got for you guys. I love you, and I will see you next time. Bye.